Better Late Than Never, the Freedom Flotilla, after a relatively brief delay, is finally on its way to the Gaza Strip. The nine ships, including several particularly large cargo vessels, are expected to face the Israeli Navy as they near the coast of Gaza. Israel has told the humanitarian mission not to come or to hand its aid over to Israeli authorities, who will then, apparently, transfer it to Gaza. But that, in the eyes of the volunteers on the ships, is not an option. We have an absolute right in law to uh, proceed direct to Gaza. We're equipped to do it. Uh, and we see no reason uh, not to carry straight on with it. It does seem to me that Israel's behaving more and more like a psychotic patient in that they're perhaps making what they see as a reasonable offer in a, a world of their own imagining. It's, it's not the world that uh, we all live in. Here on the biggest passenger ship, the Turkish registered Mavi Marmara, 600 passengers wait to see what fate holds in store for them. Tel Aviv has warned it will board the ships and arrest the humanitarian volunteers if they press ahead with the current course. But organizers in turn have warned that any such action would be a breach of international law as the sea convoy will be steering clear of both Egyptian and Israeli waters. The ship is uh, not under their authority. They, the people have boarded the ship as we and you saw uh, through customs area. Our baggage was checked through x-rays and uh, our passports were checked and we are international passengers going to the area of Gaza, which is Palestine. Now, Israel as an occupying uh, force does not have any right to stop us or to board us even much more. It would be a flagrant uh, uh, violation of international law. Inside the ship, the corridors are lined with images of previous attempts to breach the siege and the bloody violence imposed on volunteers as they tried to break through the blockade. Whether or not the attempt to reach the besieged Gaza Strip by sea will suffer a similar fate is still hard to tell at this stage, but everyone is bracing themselves for the worst. Tel Aviv says this flotilla is simply a publicity stunt to bash Israel and that sufficient amounts of aid are allowed through the crossings on a daily basis. But the UN in Gaza says it's the siege itself that has reduced the Palestinians to being dependent on aid and that clearly not enough supplies are being allowed through. And that's why people on these ships see themselves as part of a non-political humanitarian mission, providing the people of Gaza with a lifeline that would otherwise be denied to them. Hassan Ghani, Press TV, with the Gaza Freedom Flotilla on the Mediterranean Sea.